Welcome to You were in all three rooms? Yes, sir. A large portion of that time, the girl was out of doors? I don't know where she was. I did not see her. I supposed she was out of doors as she had the pail and brush. You knew she was washing windows? She told me she was going to. I did not see her do it. For a large portion of the time, you did not see the girl? No, sir. So far as you know, you were alone in the lower part of the house a large portion of the time after your father went away and before he came back. My father did not go away, I think, until somewhere about 10, as near as I can remember. He was with me downstairs. A large portion of the time after your father went away and before he came back, so far as you know, you were alone in the house. Maggie had come in and gone upstairs. After he went out and before he came back, a large portion of the time after your father went out and before he came back, so far as you know, you were the only person in the house. For a large portion of the time, you did not see the girl. No, sir. As far as you know, you were alone in the lower part of the house a large portion of the time after your father went away and before he he came back. My father did not go away, I think, until somewhere about 10, as near as I can remember. He was with me downstairs. A large portion of the time after your father went away, and before he came back, so far as you know, you were alone in the house. Maggie had come in and gone upstairs. After he went out, and before he came back, a large portion of the time, after your father went out, and before he came back, so far as you know, you were the only person in the house. So far as I know I was. And during that time, as as far as you know, the front door was locked. So far as I know. And never was unlocked at all. I don't think it was. Even after your father came home, it was locked up again. I don't know whether she locked it up again or after that or not. It locks itself. The spring lock opens. It fastens, so it cannot be opened from the outside. Sometimes you can press it open. Have you any reason to suppose the spring lock was left so it could be opened from the outside? I have no reason to suppose so. Nothing about the lock was changed before the public came. Nothing that I know of. What were you doing in the kitchen when your father came home? I think I was eating a pear when he came in. What had you been doing before that? Been reading a magazine. Were you making preparations to iron again? I had sprinkled my clothes and was waiting for the flat. I sprinkled the clothes before he went out. Had you built up the fire again? I put in a stick of wood. There were a few sparks and I put in a stick of wood to try to heat the flat. You had then started the fire? Yes, sir. The fire was burning when he came in? No, sir, but it was smoldering and smoking as though it would come up. Did it come up after he came in? No, sir, but it was smoldering and smoking as though it would come up. Did it come up after he came in? No, sir. Did you do any more ironing? I did not. I went in with him and did not finish. You did not iron any more after your father came in? No, sir. Was the ironing board put away? No, sir. It was on the dining room table. When was it put away? I don't know. Somebody put it away after the affair happened. You did not put it away? No, sir. Was it on the dining room table when you found your father killed? I suppose so. You had not put it away then? I had not touched it. How soon after your father came in? before Maggie went upstairs. I don't know. I did not see her. Did you see her after your father came in? Not after she let him in. How long was your father in the house before you found him killed? I don't know exactly because I went out to the barn. I don't know what time he came home. I don't think he had been home more than 15 or 20 minutes. I'm not sure. When you went out to the barn, where did you leave your father? He had laid down on the living room lounge, taken off his shoes and put on his slippers and taken off his coat and put on the reefer. I asked him if he wanted the window left that way. Where did you leave him? On the sofa. Was he asleep? No, sir. Was he reading? No, sir. What was the last thing you said to him? I asked him if he wanted the window left that way. Then I went into the kitchen and then from there to the barn. Whereabouts in the barn did you go? Upstairs. To the second story of the barn? Yes, sir. How long did you remain there? I don't know. Be 15 or 20 minutes. What doing? Trying to find lead for a sinker. What made you think there would be lead for a sinker up there? Because there was some there. Was there not some by the door? Some pieces of lead by the open door, but, but there were a box full of old things upstairs. Did you bring any sinker? back from the barn. Nothing but a piece of a chip I picked up on the floor. Where was that box that you say was upstairs containing lead? There was a kind of workbench. Is it there now? I don't know, sir. How long since you have seen it there? I've not been out there since that day. Have you been in the barn before? That day? No, sir. How long since you had been in the barn before? I don't think I'd been into it. I don't know as I had in three months. When you went out, did you unfasten the screen door? I unhooked it to get out. It was hooked until you went out? Yes, sir. It had been left hooked 
hooked by Bridget if she was the last one in? I suppose so. I don't know. Do you know when she did get through washing the outside? I don't know. Did you know she washed the windows inside? I don't know. Did you see her washing the windows inside? I don't know. You don't know whether she washed the dining room window and sitting room windows inside? I did not see her. If she did, would you not have seen her? I don't know. She might have been in one room and I in another. Do you think she might have gone to work and washed all the windows in the dining room and you may not know it? I don't know. I am sure whether I should or not. I might have seen her and not known it. Miss Borden, I am trying in good faith to get all the doings of that morning of yourself and Miss Sullivan, and I have not succeeded in doing it. Do you desire to give me any information or not? I don't know it. I don't know what your name is. It is certain beyond a reasonable doubt she was engaged in washing the windows in the dining room or sitting room when your father came home. Do you mean to say you know nothing of either of these operations? I knew she washed the windows outside. That is, she told me so. She did not wash the windows in the kitchen because I was in the kitchen most of the time. The dining room and sitting room, I said. I don't know. It is reasonably certain she washed the windows in the dining room and sitting room inside while your father was out and was engaged in that operation when your father came home. Do you mean to say you know nothing of it? I don't know whether she washed the windows in the sitting room and dining room or not. Can you give me any information how it happened at that particular time you should go into the chamber of the barn to find a sinker to go to Marion with the fish the next Monday? I'll go and try to find that sinker. I was going to finish my ironing. Perhaps by the time I get back, the flats will be hot. That is the only reason. How long had you been reading an old magazine before you went to the barn at all? Perhaps uh, half an hour. Had you got a fish line? Not here. We had some at the farm. Had you got a fish hook? No, sir. Had you got any apparatus for fishing at all? Yes, over there. Had you any sinkers over there? I think there were some. It's so long since I've been there, I think there were some. You had no reason to suppose you were lacking sinkers. I don't think there were any on my lines. Where were your lines? My fish lines were at the farm here. What made you think there were no sinkers at the farm on your lines? Because some time ago, when I was there, I had none. How long since you've used the fish lines? Five years, perhaps. You left them at the barn then? Yes, sir. And you have not seen them since? Yes, sir. It occurred to you, after your father came in, it would be a good time to go to the barn after sinkers, and you had no reason to suppose that there was not an abundance of sinkers at the farm and an abundance of lines. The last time I was there, there were some lines. Did you not say before you pre- presumed there were sinkers at the farm. I don't think I said so. You did say so exactly. Do you now say you presume there were not sinkers at the farm? I don't think there were any fishing lines suitable to use at the farm. I don't think there were any sinkers on any line that had been mined. Do you remember telling me you presumed there were lines and sinkers and hooks at the farm? I said there were lines. I thought, and perhaps hooks. I do not say I thought there were sinkers on my lines. There was another box of lines over there beside mine. You thought there were not sinkers? Not on my lines. Not sinkers at the farm? I don't think there were any sinkers at the farm. I don't know whether there were or not. Did you then think there were no sinkers at the farm? I thought there were no sinkers anywhere, or I should not have been trying to find some. You thought there were no sinkers at the farm to be had? I thought there were no sinkers at the farm to be had. It occurred to you, after your father came in, it would be a good time to go to the barn after sinkers, and you had no reason to suppose there was not an abundance of sinkers at the farm and an abundance of lines. Last time I was there, there were some lines. Did you not say before you presumed there were sinkers at the farm? I don't think I said so. You did say so exactly. Do you now say you presume there were not sinkers at the farm? I don't think there were any fishing lines suitable to use at the farm. I don't think there were any sinkers on any line that had been mined. Do you remember telling me you presumed there were lines and sinkers and hooks at the farm? I said there were lines, I thought, and perhaps hooks. I did not say I thought there were sinkers on my line. There was another box of lines over there beside mine. You thought there were not sinkers? Not on my lines. Not sinkers at the farm? I don't think there were any sinkers at the farm. I don't know whether there were or not. Do you then think there were no sinkers at the farm? I thought there were no sinkers anywhere, or I should not have been trying to find some. You thought there were no sinkers at the farm to be had? I thought there were no sinkers at the farm to be had. That is the reason you went into the second story of the barn to look for a sinker? Yes, sir. What made you think you would find sinkers? sinkers there. I heard father say, and I knew there was lead there. What made you think you would find sinkers there? I went to see because there was lead there. You thought there might be lead there made into sinkers. I thought there might be lead with a hole in it. Did you examine the lead that was downstairs near the door? No, sir. Why not? I don't know. You went straight up to the upper story of the barn. No, I went under the pear tree and got
got some pears first. Then went to the second story of the barn to look for sinkers for lines you had at the farm, as you supposed, as you had seen them there five years before that time. I went up to get some sinkers if I could find them. I did not intend to go to the farm for lines. I was going to buy some lines here. You then had no intention of using your lines at Marion. I could not get them. You had no intention of using your own line and hooks at the farm. No, sir. What was the use of telling me a while ago you had no sinkers on your line at the farm? I thought I made you understand that those lines at the farm were no good to use. Did you not mean for me to understand one of the reasons you were searching for sinkers was that the lines you had at the farm, as you remembered them, had no sinkers on them? I said the lines at the farm had no sinkers. I did not ask you what you said. Did you not mean for me to understand that? I meant for you to understand I wanted the sinkers and was going to have new lines. You had not then bought your lines? No, sir. I was going out Thursday noon. You had not bought any apparatus for fishing? No hooks. And had bought nothing connected with your fishing trip? No, sir. Was going to fishing the next Monday, were you? I don't know that we should go fishing Monday. Going to the place to go fishing Monday? Yes, sir. This was Thursday, and you had no idea of using any fishing apparatus before the next Monday? No, sir. You had no fishing apparatus you were proposing to use the next Monday until then? No, sir, until I had bought it. You had not bought anything? No, sir. Had you started to buy anything? No, sir. The first thing in preparation for your fishing trip the next Monday was to go to the loft of that barn to find some old sinkers to put on some hooks and lines that you had not then bought. I thought if I had found no sinkers, I should have to buy the sinkers than I, when I bought the lines. You thought you would be saving something by hunting in the loft of the barn before you went to see whether you should need them or not. I thought I would find out whether there were any sinkers before I bought the lines, and if there was, I should not have to buy any sinkers. If there was some, I should only have to buy the lines and the hooks. You began the collection of your fishing apparatus by searching for the sinkers in the barn. Yes, sir. You were searching in a box of old stuff in the loft of the barn. Yes, sir, upstairs. That you had never looked at before. I had seen them. Never examined them before. All the reason you supposed there were sinkers there was your father had told you there was lead in the barn. Yes, lead. And one day I wanted some old nails. He said there was some in the barn. All the reason that gave you to think there was sinkers was your father said there was old lead in the barn. Yes, sir. Did he mention the place in the barn? I think he said upstairs. I'm not sure. Where did you look upstairs? On that workbench like. In anything? Yes, in, in a box. Sort of a box. And then some things lying right on the side that was not in the box. How large a box was it? I could not tell you. It was probably covered up. With, with lumber, I think. Give me the best idea. Give me the best idea of the size of the box you can. Well, I should say I don't know. I have not any idea. Give me the best idea you have. I have given you the best idea I have. What is the best idea you have? About that large. That long? Yes. How wide? I don't know. Give me the best idea you have. Perhaps about as wide as it was long. How high? It was not very high. About how high? Uh, about the twice the length of your forefinger? I should think so. Not quite. What was in the box? Nails and some old locks, and I don't know, but um, there was a doorknob. Anything else? I don't remember anything else. Any lead? Yes, some pieces of tea lead, like... Foil, what we call tin foil, the same as you use on tea chests. I don't remember seeing any tin foil, not as thin as that. Tea chest lead? No, sir. What did you see in shape of lead? Flat pieces of lead, a little bigger than that. Some of them were doubled together. How many? I could not tell you. What else did you look at besides in the box? I did not look anywhere for lead except... Except on the workbench. How full was the box? It was not nearly as full as it could have been. You looked on the bench. Beside that, where else? Nowhere except the bench. Did you look for anything else beside lead? No, sir. When you got through looking for lead, did you come down? No, sir. I went to the west window over the hay, to the west window, and the curtain was slanted a little. I pulled it down. What else? Nothing. That's all you did? Yes, sir. That is the second story of the barn? Yes, sir. Was the window open? I think not. Hot? Very hot. How long do you think you were up? there? Not more than 15 or 20 minutes, I should not think. Should you think what you've told me would occupy four minutes? Yes, because I ate some pears up there. Do you think all you have told me would take you four minutes? I ate some pears up there. I asked you to tell me all you did. I told you all I did. Do you mean to say you stopped your work and then, additional to that, sat still and ate some pears? While I was looking out the window, yes, sir. Dun, 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 dun.
Will you tell me all you did in the second story of the barn? I think I told you all I did that I can remember. Is there anything else? I told you that I took some pears up from the ground, then I went up. I stopped under the pear tree and took some pears up, then I went up. Have you now told me everything you did up in the second story of the barn? Yes, sir. I now call your attention and ask you to say whether all you have told me, and I don't suppose you stayed there any longer than was necessary. No, sir, because it was close. Can you give me any explanation why all you have told me would occupy more than three minutes? Yes, it could take me more than three minutes. To look in that box that you've described the size of the, of the bench and put down the curtain and then get out as soon as you conveniently could, would you say you were occupied in that business 20 minutes? I think so, because I did not look at the box when I first went up. What did you do? I ate my pears. Stood there, eating the pears, doing nothing. I was looking out the window. Stood there, looking out the window, eating the pears. I should think so. How many did you eat? Three, I think. You were feeling better than you did in the morning. Better than I did the night before. You were feeling better than you were in the morning. I felt better in the morning than I did the night before. This is not what I asked you. You were then, when you were in the hayloft, looking out of the window and eating three pears, feeling better, were you not, than you were in the morning when you could not eat any breakfast. I never eat any breakfast. You did not answer my question, and you will if I have to put it all day. Were you then, when you were eating those three pears in the hot loft, looking out that closed window, feeling better than you were in the morning when you ate no breakfast? I felt better in the morning than I did the night before. That is not what I asked you. You were then, when you were in that hayloft, looking out the window and eating three pears, feeling better, were you not, than you were in the morning when you could not eat any breakfast? I never eat any breakfast. You did not answer my question, and you will if I have to put it all day. Were you then, when you were eating those three pairs in that hot loft looking out that closed window feeling better than you were in the morning when you ate no breakfast. I was feeling well enough to eat the pears. Were you feeling better than you were in the morning? I don't think I felt very sick in the morning. Only, yes, I, I don't know, but I did feel better, as I say. I don't know whether I ate any breakfast or not, or whether I ate a cookie. Were you then feeling better than you did in the morning? I don't know how to answer you, because I told you I felt better in the morning anyway. Do you understand my question? My question is whether, when you were in the loft of that barn, you were feeling better than you were in the morning when you got up. No, I felt about the same. Were you feeling better than you were when you told your mother you did not care for any dinner? No, sir, I felt about the same. You now say, when you were eating the pears, you could see the back door. Were you then feeling better than you did in the morning? I don't know how to answer you because I told you I felt better in the morning anyway. I understand my question. My question is whether, when you were in the loft of that barn, you were feeling better than you were in the morning when you got up. No, I felt about the same. Were you feeling better than you were when you told your mother you did not care for any dinner? No, sir, I felt about the same. Well enough to eat pears, but not well enough to eat anything for dinner. She asked me if I wanted any meat. I asked you why you should select that place, which was the only place which would put you out of sight of the house to eat those three pears in. I cannot tell you any reason. You observed that fact, do you not? You've put yourself in the only place, perhaps, where it would be impossible for you to see a person going into the house. Yes, sir, I should have seen them from the front window. From anywhere in the yard? No, sir, not unless from the end of the barn. Ordinarily, in the yard, you could see them, and in the kitchen where you had been, you could have seen them. I don't I don't think I understand. When you were in the kitchen, you could see the persons who came in the back door. Yes, sir. When you were in the yard, unless you went around the corner of the house, you could see them come in at the back door. No, sir, not unless I was at the corner of the barn. The minute I turned, I could not. What was there? A little jog-like. The, the walk turns. I ask you again to explain to me why you took those pears from the pear tree. I did not take them from the pear tree. From the ground, wherever you took them from. I thank you for correcting me. Dad. <laughs> Dooby dooby da, dooby dooby dab dab. Going into the barn, going upstairs into the hottest place in the barn, in the rear of the barn, the hottest place, and there standing and eating those pears that morning. I beg your pardon. I was not in the rear of the barn. I was on the other end of the barn that faced the street. Where you could see anyone coming into the house. Yes, sir. Did you not tell me you could not? Before I went into the barn, at the jog, on the outside. You now say, when you were eating the pears, you could see the back door. Yes, sir. So nobody could come in at that time without you seeing them. I don't see how they could. 
good. After you got done eating your pears, you began your search? Yes, sir. Then you did not see into the house? No, sir, because the bench is at the other end. Now, I have asked you over and over again, and will continue the inquiry, whether anything you did at the bench would occupy more than three minutes. Yes, I think I could. Yes, I think it would, because I pulled over quite a lot of boards and looking. To get at the box? Yes, sir. Taking all of that, what is the amount of time you think you occupied in looking for that piece of lead which you could not find? Transcriptions of Lizzie Borden's Inquest, provided with permission by Stephanie, Corey, and Lizzie Andrew Borden.com.